Hi there, this is Emily. Thank you for joining me for some gentle yoga. So today's yoga will all be in a chair. So feel free to grab a chair of your choice. Just it's preferable that it doesn't have arms so that you can move your arms freely from the side. Also, while you're seated in your chair, feel free to grab any props that you may need to make sure that your legs are at a 90 degree angle while you're sitting. For me, I scooch forward in my chair so that I can have a nice 90 degree angle. Feel free to add music of your choice. And also, I do want to restate, I can't say this enough, but um, everything that I say or suggest are suggestions. And if it doesn't feel good for your body or you think it would be uncomfortable, feel free to modify or just completely skip the movement together. Right? So the, the priority is just keeping your body comfortable, keeping your body safe, and making sure it's beneficial for you. All right, so let's get started. Find a comfortable and stable position in your chair, bringing your knees parallel to your shoulders, stacking your spine. Your knees are at a 90 degree angle to the floor, and let's bring your attention into the room. Eyes are open, perhaps you notice the color of the walls, you linger on some artwork. And now, let's bring our attention inwards. So if it feels comfortable, Go ahead, close your eyes softly. Bringing your attention to your body. Do a gentle scan from the top of your head all the way to the bottom of your toes. If any thoughts come into your mind, just recognize them and then let them go and come back to your breath. And let's start with deepening the breaths. Each inhale holding for about three seconds, pausing at the top, and then exhaling for about three seconds, moving with whatever pace feels good for you. Trying to equalize our inhales and exhales. Inhaling. Hold and exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. Hold and exhale through the mouth. And moving with your own breath, whatever feels good for you. Bringing your attention back to your breath, normalizing your breath, just relaxing in the moment. Eyes gently flutter open if they're closed. Good. Now let's start with a little warm up to get into some flow, working our way into warrior pose, and then we'll close with Shavasana. So inhaling arms up over the head, choice leaving them here or bringing them together at the top. You can come down, bringing your hands in front of your heart, inhaling, swooping arms up, exhaling, hands together at heart. Last one, inhaling, and Coming together at the heart, 
Hands come onto your hips or perhaps onto the side of your chair. We're going to get started with dropping our neck. And then on the inhale, we'll bring the chin up to one shoulder. Exhale, coming to middle. Inhale, opposite direction. Exhale, coming to middle. Let's do this together. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Moving at your pace. Checking in with your body, trying to relax your shoulders. Slowing it down if you'd like. Or speeding it up if you'd like. And then maybe in the center. Let's inhale here. And exhale. Nodding your head, yes. And shaking your head gently back and forth. Bringing your shoulders, well, releasing your hands if they're on the chair, bringing your shoulders to your ears, inhaling and exhaling through the mouth. Releasing shoulders down two more times, inhaling shoulders up and down. Feel free to shake your shoulders out. So now, hands can be on your lap or on the side of your chair for some hip circles. So really getting into wide circles through your body, paying attention to how everything's feeling, making sure our feet are stable on the floor and our seat is stable in the chair. Feel free to take them as little or as big as you'd like. Just really working your spine, your hips. And again, you can have your hands on your lap, on your hips, on your chair, whatever feels good for you. Now let's move in the opposite direction. Again, as little or as big as you'd like to take it. Keeping your hands on the chair for stability or perhaps on your hips or on your lap. Ooh. Tuning into how your body feels. See how it feels on your spine, your lower back, your hips. Good. And let's inhale here to reset, bring your hands up. And exhale, bringing your hands to your lap. A little cat cow. So really getting into a wave through our spine. So we're going to inhale, bringing our hands back, opening the shoulders. Shoulders come wide, arching through the middle, so belly button's coming forward. And on the exhale, sliding hands forward, making the C with our body. So inhaling rolling shoulders back and open, chin can come up, exhaling, rolling. And go ahead, moving with your body at your own pace. Yeah, let's do two more. Coming to neutral position, inhaling, arms come up and down, hands coming to your lap. Now let's bring our hands forward and then we're going to inhale and exhale, closing, inhale, opening, exhale. Shake out the wrists, 
And let's go ahead and take some wrist circles. Opposite direction. I've gotten some kinks in there for sure. So if you snap, crackle, or pop, that's perfectly normal. There just might be some air pockets in your wrist. Let's inhale, exhale, bringing our hands to our lap. Let's start moving down. So we're going to move into our legs and go ahead and straighten one of your legs. So heels on the ground, toes are pointing up, and we're going to inhale, bringing the toes up, exhale, bringing the toes down. So just moving at your own pace. Stop here, toes up, heels on the ground. We'll take some ankle circles on one side. And on the opposite side. And let's bring our knee back together. So I'm parallel with my other knee. And we'll exhale. Inhale, toe comes up. Exhale, pulling toes down, heels on the floor. It's my snapping and crackling too. Moving with the breath, inhaling, bring toes up. Exhaling, pointing down. Inhaling, toes up, and exhaling, let's move into ankle circles. Remembering to come back to your breath. Good. So inhale, exhale together. Sliding your knee back to match your other knee. So feet are shoulder width apart, knees are 90 degree angle, and they're parallel. Let's get into a little flow. So we'll work on our sun salutation. Inhaling, hands come up. Exhaling, coming down. Hands on your knees and slightly bending forward. Head comes down. Body's halfway down, inhaling, head comes up, and exhaling, if it feels good, hinging at the hips and sliding further down, hanging your head, inhaling, sliding, body up, arms come up, exhaling, coming down, inhaling, Exhaling, sliding halfway down, hands coming to little ways down to your shin, head drops, inhaling, looking up, exhaling, sliding down, inhaling, coming up, exhale, come down, inhale up. Exhale, coming down, sliding hands to your shins, dropping your head, body's halfway down. Inhale, head comes up. Exhale, coming down, relaxing your head. Ooh. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale up. Exhale. This time we're going to take our knees, excuse me, bring our hands to our knees and put our forearms on our knees. Now I'm going to cross my arms onto each elbow. If this feels good, we can stay here. If you'd like to take a twist, I'll 
and you drop one arm and gently bring my opposite shoulder up. If it feels good, you can bring your gaze over your shoulder or leave your gaze here. Let's inhale together here and exhale. Coming down. So again, opposite hand goes onto the floor. Inhale, hand come up, comes up to my knee, looking slightly over my shoulder. Gaze can stay here, or if it feels good, bring it over the shoulder. Good. Inhale here, and exhale, coming down. Let's inhale, bring your hands up. And then exhale, bringing your hands to your hips or to the chair. We're going to heel toe our feet open, bringing our legs out as far as what feels comfortable for you. So my knees are about at a 45 degree angle. And I want a 90 degree angle right here in my knee. Now if this feels good, Go ahead and straighten one leg. Feel free to bring your body forward on your seat if you need to, and just as long as you're feeling stable. So this will be our position for warrior two. So for warrior two, we open up our hands, turning our body, gazing over one shoulder. Let's inhale here, bringing our hands to our heart. Face forward, exhale, extending and looking over that hand. Dropping the shoulders, I tend to hitch up when I'm dropping down. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now let's hold it here. Now make sure that your feet are both evenly grounded into the floor. That will help with your stability. Let's flow a little bit. So we're inhaling, dropping the hand onto our back knee, or perhaps onto the hip or the chair, coming up, and then exhaling, coming onto our forearm. So inhaling, back hand drops the back leg, perhaps it's onto the hip, onto the chair, whatever feels comfortable for you, inhaling. Coming down onto the forearm. Let's flow. Last one. Now reach your hands towards the corner of the room. Checking in with your shoulders, see if you can bring some space between your ears and your shoulders. Breathing here. Last one. And releasing. All right, let's bring our knees back together, heel toeing them. Perhaps you want to march in place just to relax those hips. It also feels good to windshield wiper the knees back and forth, holding onto your chair. Hands can be on your hips, whichever feels good for you. All right, now let's go into the opposite direction. So again, bringing your seat forward if you need to, and then we'll heel toe our legs open. However far feels good for you, checking to see that you have a 90 degree angle here. And then let's work on our opposite leg. So perhaps we'll straighten. There we go. Checking the angle, we want to see if we're at 90 degree angle. And then putting, putting weight evil, evenly into your feet. So again, we're going to open up, gazing over the opposite side. Inhaling, coming center. Exhaling. Over the side. Inhaling. Exhaling. Let's 
petit du loin. Now from here, coming to center, we're going to start with another flow. So inhaling, coming back, perhaps my hand comes to my knee, to my hip, to the chair, so coming up. And then exhaling, opposite hand comes up and over, and your arm, your forearms on the knee. So let's inhale, coming back, and exhale. Working on the flow. Feet are evenly grounded. One. And now let's stretch. We're checking in with your shoulder, trying to create some space if possible. Let's inhale here. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhaling. Let's inhale, stretch. And exhale. Bring your arm out and down. And we'll bend my knee. And heel toe them back together. Woo! Smart out a little bit. And windshield wiper the knees back and forth. <sighs> All right. Now let's go ahead and get stable in our chair. So if you'd like to scooch back a little bit, feel free. Checking in with your legs, making sure that they're parallel, shoulder width apart. We'll get into a nice stretch on the side. So go ahead and we can either flex the foot and fold it over for a little stretch here. If you want to take it higher and you feel that it's beneficial for your body, feel free to put your foot on your knee. And let's inhale. Ooh, finding some length in our spine and exhale here. Feeling good. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, you can inhale, finding some space, and then exhale, leaning over. Now, again, this is what's beneficial for your body. So, if it's too much, do what feels best for you. On each inhale, imagine lengthening, and each exhale, imagine just deepening and relaxing a little more. Let's inhale, bringing the body up, and exhale, releasing the leg down, windshield wipering the legs back and forth, just trying to relax a little bit more. Now opposite side, so we'll inhale, finding some length, flexing the opposite ankle, crossing it over the opposite foot. So perhaps this is where we stay. If you'd like to take it deeper, so bring your ankle up over your knee. Feel free to engage your foot. Let's, if you'd like to take it deeper, we'll inhale, finding some length, and then exhale, bringing it over the leg. Inhale, imagining some lengthening. And exhale, deepening. One more stretch, the foot's engaged. Let's inhale here. And exhale, deepening. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, releasing. And let's stretch our windshield wiper back and forth. Let's loosen the hips. We're going to take a moment to get into Shavasana. If you'd like, feel free to come onto the floor and relax on your back. You can even put your legs up the wall if that feels good. Or if you'd like, 
Get as comfortable as possible in your chair. Maybe push you back so you can sit well in your chair. <sighs> Close your eyes. Hands can be on your thighs or on your knees. If you're on the ground, palms are open, facing the sky. Just getting as comfortable as possible for you. Breathing in and breathing out through the mouth. With each inhale, imagine lengthening, bringing in vital energy, revitalizing energy. And each exhale, just relaxing even more. Being aware of your shoulders relaxing down. Your belly, your legs, touching base with your body and your breath. Now maybe for a few moments, Connect with your own breath and your body. Then bring it back to your body, wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. If you're on the ground, feel free to roll over onto your right hand side with the left palm in on the ground in front of your heart. Inhale. And on the exhale, push that left palm into the ground to bring your body into a seated position. If your eyes are still closed, feel free to open them, softening the gaze, coming forward in your chair slightly. Let's inhale together. Exhale. Hands in front of heart. May you be filled with joy, peace, and laughter this week. Stay.